Bonjour tout le monde. Welcome to Weekday Wanderings in Paris. I'm Jackie. Today I'm in the 7th arrondissement. I'm at uh, Metro Sèvre Babylon, which is on the corner of Rue de Sèvre and uh, Boulevard Aspay. So I'm just finishing off a nice cup of tea at the uh, Café Le Sèvre Aspay. And it's very, very cold here this morning. It's uh, currently three degrees, uh, which is, I mean, my fingers are very, very cold, but I'm gonna leave my gloves off while I do my video. So we have four people in line currently, more short in the month. So just uh, let you know again where we are. We're in the seventh country small. We're on the corner of Rue de Sèvres and Boulevard de Raspeille at Metro uh, Sèvres Babylon, which is on line 12 and 19. Uh, Judy, cuckoo, she says. Cuckoo, Judy. Okay, let me flip my camera around and you can see where we are. So I've prepaid my um, my tea. So that was, um, so here I am here at the Sèvre Raspay. So nice cup of jasmine green tea. Um, petit déjeuner here is eight euro, which is, uh, it's not bad for um, the 7th of Andres Mall, it's pretty good. Right, where am I? I am in front of this beautiful, historic hotel called Hotel Leticia. Good morning, Terry. How are you today? I nearly headed over to your place, but I was on the bus heading your direction and I thought, oh, I keep meaning to come here, so why don't I come here? Here I am. Okay, right, we have the sun against us right now. So I'm gonna go over this way. So Rue de Sèvres. And this is a Boulevard Arras Bay in the seventh island this small. Okay. So this is heading looking down towards Rue de Rue de Raspay towards Montparnasse and if we were to head down this way this goes towards Saint-Germain-des-Prés okay and um, that also heads towards Boulevard Saint-Germain that way okay so we're crossing over Judy says oh Hotel Leticia I haven't been there since its renovation so it did a big renovation back in 2018 Sorry, we're going to have the sun against us, I'm afraid, because it's a beautiful hotel and it really warrants having a decent look at it. But there you go, you get a glimpse of it there, despite the sun. It's beautiful, yes. So I just read up on it. It um, was um, purchased by a, uh, an Israeli consortium uh, back in uh, 2017, I think it was, and they did an overhaul of it. So... Now this is really historic, this hotel. It was built in uh, 1920s uh, and it was built specifically for exclusive clientele of uh, a certain department store which we're about to see. Uh, and it had a very important role to play in World War II. Uh, there were, of course, uh, you have lots of famous people staying there hanging out here as you can see it's absolutely luxurious and gorgeous um, and when World War II broke out like in 1939 they had uh, a lot of uh, German uh, refugees basically coming escaping here to France and a lot of them stayed here and uh, then um, when Germany uh, invaded and Paris was occupied um, a lot of the people who were here were arrested and then some were escaped and that but then eventually uh, the uh, German counter uh, espionage units occupied this building uh, for the duration of their occupation and then voila it was um, celebrated after the war as um, one of those places, uh, uh, post-war celebrations. So Judy said that she had afternoon um, agouti there from, oh, sorry I missed that. I, 
where was it? Afternoon tea with the Jacqueline Dubois and Glenda a couple of years ago. Beautiful hotel. Okay, we had uh, Glenda May. Hello, Glenda May. Welcome. And who else have I not seen? Um, sorry, I'm missing all of the people who have joined up. Okay, so here is a nice little garden. Now we're going to walk down this little and through this garden because there is some road works going on down at Rue de Sèvres and I just kind of want to avoid them. So this little garden here is called, so this is on top of the metro station. This is the Jardin Boussico and oh look there's a New Zealand native plant called a Harekeke where I come from. Lots of really interesting plants in this garden. There's another Harekeke there. Um, and yeah, look at all these. They're very, very uh, internationally themed, aren't they? This one here, monkey puzzle tree. Lots of palms. Okay, so this is Jardin Boussico, and uh, Monsieur Boussico was uh, the man who took over from uh, the Le Bon Marché. So we're au Bon Marché here. So au Bon Marché was the. Um, Nice little park there. Um, the first big grand magasin department store. So it's, it was open in 19, uh, sorry, 1834, I think it was. And then um, Monsieur Boussico took it over in 1852. And uh, he revolutionized the whole concept of grand magasin, so department stores. And he did lots of amazing things, um, which of course was then followed by places like Pantal and Galerie Lafayette in the BHV. So he made it um, a store that was open to all the public at fixed prices. Um, but then of course it became quite uh, uh, special in that he did things like he would open a reading room for husbands so that they could sit and read while their wives were shopping and they had areas for children and they did advertising in newspapers and things like that which is well at the time very unheard of so this is Rue de Sèvres we just went around the corner Judy says um, love Bon Marché in the 7th yes Linda May says hopefully another visit in October yeah I hope so Okay, so this is another entrance to the Metro Sèvres Babylon. So, like I said, 12 and 10. Now, just a warning, if you do come here, um, this is um, a very famous place to be mugged. So you have to be really careful. Lots of unassuming people here with lots of spare cash. Okay, so here we are at the main entrance of Le Bon Marché. Now, it's interesting because originally you've got the Rue de Chaussée there, uh, your first floor, the second floor, and then that top floor was originally built as uh, dormitories for the staff who worked there, which I thought was cool. Glenda May says, oh, memories of Bon Marché. I have the best collection of Alexandre hair combs I bought there. Beautiful stuff here, isn't it? So I'm crossing over now. Okay, so this wasn't open when I um, walked past just before. I had my cup of tea. So I'm gonna peek in the coupon here. Oh no, this one's covered up. Okay, but as you can see, they're all primed, ready for Christmas. So I haven't been in here this morning yet. I will go in a bit later, like after I finish my video. Now I'm very reticent to actually um, go into stores after last week's video. For those of you who watched last week's video, I um, mean my video is extremely long but also at the end once I went into Gallery Lafayette it was, um, uh, the, the reception was terrible so it made for a very bad ending to my video unfortunately. Um, I would love to take you in but yeah I just hate to think that the video quality would diminish so I'm just going to show you the outsides for today. So um, in my opinion the, win the Christmas window displays are not as elaborate and interesting as that at um, um, Gallery Lafayette. 
but look at this so they have it all set up with a little step for the kids to come and watch look at this this is quite funny this is le hip hop des biscuits this is quite cute I, am, I hope you can see there's a little bit of um, uh, glare from the window so look at this they got they got big giant uh, panzu piece or gingerbread men. Terry says, I love shopping at the Gonda Pisserie. Sort of pricey though. I think um, that I was in the APC I was in the APC just before. I love it. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I would put it way up above um, Gallery Lafayette Pisserie but um, yeah it is it is pricey of course but there are things that you can't buy anywhere else so it's worth it so this is the music hall Sucre d'Orge it's quite cute yeah Judy says hey, hey cute yeah it is Nice. Okay, so yeah, not very interesting here. This is one of the entries which is not available. Lovely trees, I love the trees. I think they're beautiful, and of course, the lights. It was a bit darker when I came earlier, so the lights looked even better. Okay, Li Pum Pum Girl Patisserie. This is cute. Okay, we've got a lot of glare here, so let me go from another angle. Uh -huh. Okay, boom. So, I'm assuming that we've got Christmas happening um, all over the world, where everybody is from. The same sorts of things happening. Here we have Le Cabaret des Pain de Pis. So, a bit more fully berger. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. So this is, um, we're coming to the end of it here. The cupola is shut here, which is a pain. Okay, so we're on the Rue du Bac now. Um, and I'm just going to go for a really quick little detour down here. Something really interesting in the Rue de Bac. Oh, Glenda May says, I noticed they even have Black Friday sales. Black Friday is huge here in France now. Um, a lot of people are really resistant to it because um, they believe it's a, um, what do you call it, a, an Americanization. Um, which I kind of think is a bit hypocritical really when um, this is very commercial, look at this, I mean, Dior, you know, they've got all the top labels, so, you know, this is, this is all commercialization, isn't it? So I suppose Black Friday is just another layer. Okay, what I wanted to show you is just here, I believe it's yes it's open okay so this is calling out to all of the, um, the Catholics in the house this is the Chapelle de Notre Dame de la Médée Miraculeuse so the Miraculous Medal is anyone aware of the um, Miraculous Medal um, let me see if I can quickly squeeze across the road Okay, so Catherine uh, Lob uh, Laboré, she was, she's a saint. She was born in the early 1800s and died in the late 1800s. Uh, she um, had some visitations from um, Notre Dame and uh, she became um, a nun here. And this is the convent um, that she um, uh, lived in and worked in. She's the patron saint of the elderly and infirmed. Um, and she, so this was under Saint Vassa de Paul. So the Sisters of Charity. 
Okay, so she obviously established her own order and uh, with the Miraculous Medal and she died here in Paris uh, and when her body was discovered uh, after she died, they discovered that uh, she was incorrupt. So if you know what that means, if you don't know what that means, it means that uh, she, her body had, did not decay after she died, which is one of the ways that people can be nominated for sainthood. Let me quickly cross the road now because there's no cars coming. Okay. So there is a chapel just in here and um, in the chapel here is actually where her body now lays in a glass uh, reliquary um, in the chapel. So if you want to view her you can actually do that in here. Okay. So back to La Grande Pisserie du uh, Bon Marché. So this is owned by the Bon Marché. It's currently owned by the um, um, Moet Hennessy Group who are also the people who who um Madame. Bonjour. Uh, the La Samaritaine. So they also own La Samaritaine. Okay. So I've lost um, comments if there's anybody there. Oh no, I have comments. LVMH own Bon Marché and La Samaritaine. Yes, thank you, Judy. Okay. So, um, oh look, they're setting up a little market outside the store too. It is absolutely stunning in here. It really is. It is such a fun place to come. As we say, it's very, very. Um, um, it's not. It's not cheap, but it is lots of fun in the patisserie in here, which you can sit down and eat. Um, let's see if I can be cheeky and poke my uh, camera through the window. Yeah, so inside people are sitting there having their coffee at the patisserie. They have a beautiful carve downstairs. Um, and they have a beautiful display of all sorts of wonderful champagne. And those are the things I really like to look at. Uh, it's a great place to come and buy Christmas presents because uh, and souvenirs because there's lots of amazing things that you can find in here. Um, it's all good quality stuff. It's not like crappy souvenirs you might find in uh, Montmartre or something like that. So it's really nice stuff. And the service here is beautiful. They're very, very polite and um, wonderful. Okay. This is the staff entrance here, Moe, Tennessee. Okay. Okay, so we are heading down uh, Rue de Sèvres. So this is where it gets a little less interesting here, but I just have one more thing that I wanted to show you down here. So this um, wall that we have here, it's... Um, it used to be the Hôpital La Lainique. Okay, Judy says, oh Jackie, it is so wonderful just taking it along as your handbag in Paris. <laughs> Thank you Judy, I appreciate that. It means a lot. Okay, so this Hôpital La Lainique, um, it was obviously a hospital which was established in 1634, I think it was, a really long time ago. Um, see these buildings are very old they've had a facelift obviously but they're still very old so um, the hospital itself has been shut down and it is now in the uh, I think it's the International Hôpital um, American de Georges Pompidou which is in the 16th uh, so the buildings of this have now been taken over by Kiri 
which is um, a luxury brand that own quite a few uh, luxury labels um, in Paris and the world. So if we have a look here, this is where the chapel of um, Catherine uh, Labouré is. So where you can go, it's not the same building, but it's right next to where you can see um, the Catherine, St. Catherine. It's actually St. Catherine's feast day in two days time. So, Kering Balontiaga. What is the brand that took over that property? Please spell it, Jackie. There we go. I've got it right there for you, Judy. Okay. So they uh, have a lot of uh, luxury brands. And because I'm not luxury brand savvy, um, I'm sorry, I can't share those with you. But I know you can do a Google search and it will tell you exactly who. Okay. The last thing I wanted to show you. Now we're heading towards the Metro of Vanu. It's just there in front of us. But what I wanted to show you over here is something really, really understated. You see this little almost, I don't know, it's neoclassic, isn't it? Frontage here. Okay. So this is the Chapelle Saint Vincent de Paul. And the reason it's called the Chapelle Saint Vincent de Paul is because this is actually where Saint Vincent de Paul now resides. So I always knew about this name and I never actually thought that it was a real person and of course he is, was, and he um, lived a long time ago um, and obviously died a long time ago and like uh, Saint Catherine La Bourrée, he is also in this building here. This is a very small but absolutely gorgeous chapel um, where you can go in and um, view the, um, the, the remains of um, San Vasa de Paul. Judy says, oh gosh, I didn't even know that. Yes. So I, I will, I, like I said, I don't like videoing in churches, um, especially small ones like this, which is very conspicuous. But I will go in and I will take a short video, which I will post, um, a discreet video, obviously, and some photos, so that you will be able to see the inside. It is very, very beautiful. So yeah. So I don't know if that was a, um, a small walk or not, but uh, I've lost track of time oh no it's a really long walk in fact okay well that's perfect then okay um as a bonus this is uh, apart from what we've just um, done and seen here tonight um i will be going to a special event at, at the jardin des plantes uh they have for the last few years been holding a an illumination event which is big giant chinese lanterns and it's a christmas thing obviously so they will um, be inaugurating this year's event tonight. Uh, so it's a private event, but I will be going to it. I don't know how it's gonna look at night time, but I'm going to show a very, very short live video at 6.30 p.m. Paris time. So I'm not sure that works out in Australia. Studio if you would be able to um, uh, those numbers or off the top of your head or I can do that later but anyway 6 30 p.m. Paris time um, I will do a very short live video at the Jardin des Plantes showing their Illumination exhibition okay and yeah so um, that was just a little bonus yeah, 6 30 Paris time so thank you very much for joining me here in my little walk in the 12th arrondissement on uh, the Rue de Sèvres, Rue de Raspail at uh, Metro um, Sèvres Babylon so we had a look at uh, the Lutetia Hotel and Le Bon Marché and the Grande Épicerie de Paris, which are very nice as well as the Chapelle de um, uh, Saint Vincent de Paul and the Chapel of the Miraculous Medallion. Okay, take care everybody, stay warm because it's not here um, and we will see you all again tonight and if not then next Friday. Thank you, thank you Glenda May, merci beaucoup et à la prochaine. Salut